Jackson. I am a student and a staff person here at the University of Michigan, Flint. Um, my background is in Afro Studies uh, and Psychology. My passion is social justice. I've been doing this work now for about 15, about 15 years. Um, I'm a graduate student uh, in the Liberal Studies program with a concentration in American and African American Studies. That's me in a nutshell. Uh, my undergrad degree was from Eastern Michigan. Uh, the Black she was around the Black Panther Party, and all they really wanted to do was like help the community and volunteer. But like when you see like weapons and stuff, some of them, it was kind of like a 50-50 shot where um, some of them would get attacked, so they would carry weapons with them. Um. For students, for the community in general. They did. Yeah. They pioneered that. They, they pioneered that. They pioneered that. What do you mean? They started that. Actually, the, uh, before that, there were any any programs that gave uh, breakfast to children. And so, who was the major institution that picked that up? Uh, they picked it up. I'm not sure. Education. Uh, the, uh, schools, right? Schools. Yeah. Right. School systems didn't do free breakfast until the Black Panther Party uh, kind of showed how we should be done. So. Elaine Brown. Who was Elaine Brown? I had the uh, pleasure of meeting her a few years ago. She came to speak at the uh, University of Toledo while I was a student there. And uh, there you go. So, three specific conditions that I want to focus on for this evening. Um, three conditions that kind of led into the creation of the Black Power Movement. MAU, MAU. They were a part of one of the greatest guerrilla groups the African continent has ever seen. And when Europe still held a lot of African countries under their thumb, the Mau Mau and others like them were responsible for kicking the colonizers out of the African continent. Mid-1950s. They want Europe to colonize large parts of Africa, which is why today you go over to Africa and a lot of regions in the continent are still speaking English, French, right? All these different European languages because they were colonized. That's the health care, food, and a Eurocentric education, which uh, I might argue that these three conditions, I can go outside and walk down Saginaw Street and see these three conditions right now. Um, how do you um, from what I'm learning, you say it's like they actually happened like either late 50s or the 60s sometime. They went to like the 80s, and that's when um, white people were moving from the cities, um, urban areas to the suburban areas that we know today. So, like, you can see because we do, right? It was better when white folks was there. We move in, and all of a sudden, everything goes to hell. It must be something inherently wrong with What's us. This? Right. Let's 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 look into that a little. Suburbs. 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 So in this area, Davidson, Grand Blanc, right, Flushing, Swords Creek. They were built during this time period, or construction began during this time period. Um, those houses were largely set aside for folks who went. Wall was built along eight mile to separate a white community from a black community because before the wall went up, their rating was a D. And they was like, well, we know how to fix this, mm -hmm. right? Put the wall up, rating changed to an A, mm -hmm. right? So, so what? They gave Black and Latino began moving into a neighborhood. White home buyers perceived that the neighborhood is in decline and choose not to move there. Residents, fearing that property values will fall, begin to move away, even if those moving in are their socioeconomic evils. Businesses and jobs soon follow suit. Go ahead, begin to leave the 
consequent decline in demand causes housing prices to fall. The non-white middle class community is not large enough to sustain market demand. If whites represent 80 percent of the housing market, then 80 percent of the potential demand is absent. As prices decline, the community okay, taxes go up. White residents take their wealth with them. Wealthy communities have lower tax rates and better services. Resource poor communities have just the opposite. Why? Public services are largely funded. To maintain the same level of public services. School sanitation, public transportation, police, and fire protection all begin to decline at the same time that demand for these. Recognize some of these folks? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, who, who we see up here? Emmett Till. Emmett Till. MLK. Malcolm. Who else? Robert F. Kennedy. Not JFK. Robert F. Kennedy. Robert. Mm -hmm. Robert. And you can't really see him, so I guess I won't hold that one against you. Y'all know where the brother is in the top corner here? Wrote an extremely influential book used by revolutionaries both in Africa and the islands and in the States. Initials are FF. Franz Fanon. It's Franz Fanon. Anybody know who this brother is? The glasses. Patrice Lumumba. for defining what the Black Power Movement was all about. He was a poet. And he's credited for defining what the Black Power Movement was all about. Extremely controversial poet to this day. Y'all yeah. ever heard the poem, The Revolution Will Not Be Televised? Mm -hmm. yeah. That's my man, Gil Scott Heron, right? Major components of the Black Power slash Black Arts movement. Three major components. The movement existed in order to accomplish three specific things. Call for greater economic and social autonomy in the black community. It's a nice phrase. What does it mean? Autonomy like the like kind of part is to get you know good schools and good books and good restaurants and good places to go. Why should I be limited to the things that I have? Cute to be dark skinned. Oh, you. <laughs> I know what I'm talking about. Yeah. Or they got some pretty off colored eyes. Right? Mm -hmm. We all know brown. Oh, he got blue eyes. Yeah, white flight. He had a white wife, right? And like, yeah, the Right. <laughs> right, and then like he had like some realization or something. Commentary problem. But the other, yeah, it's still there. the other, the internal perpetuation of socially acceptable power dynamics and gender <coughs> politics. Fancy phrase. What does it mean? What is it? Put them on there. Oh no no no, sister. No, you go make the pancakes for the breakfast program. Mm -hmm. I'm not making this up. And at least 50% of the population you're trying to save are women. Right? That's like I'm going to get ready for a race by cutting off one of my legs. And that makes sense to me somehow. <laughs> that Elaine Brown was the only woman to chair the Black Panther Party. What? Mm -hmm. Yeah. She did. Yeah. You yeah. I didn't know that. Somebody else. Yeah. Yes, sir. I learned that the Black Panther was not a terrorist organization. It was, it was a lot more good in it. I came from Africa, and most of the things I learned about uh, the Black Americans were on the TV. And so I appreciate you sending the email to me. I have to be there to hear from the Africans themselves. Mm -hmm. So um, I'm going to be here tonight. Somebody here.
time was international politics, international news. Now, since I'm on that topic, I told you she was pretty, man. <laughs> that ain't proud, but I had a crush, I ain't gonna lie. Patriarchy, right? This is a quote from a book um, I used a while back. He was distancing himself from him. Those are the two big, big issues, or at least two major issues that contributed to the demise of the Black Panther Party. So I'm gonna do this, and I'm gonna regret it, but I'm gonna do it anyway, just so we can look at this right quick. Uh, here we go. No, there we go. So, who's the sister at the top? Virginia, be quiet. <laughs> who's the sister at the top? Oh, oh man, come mm -hmm. find what the relationship between men and women should look like. Woo, that's sick. They didn't do it on purpose. I don't think they were conscious of it. It was J. E. Hoover. Oh. Jagger Hoover. Weird dude. <laughs> yeah. Really strange man. What made him kind of weird? He was very anti, not just black, but he was also anti what? Start following, taking pictures, instigating, right? Cointelpro was slick. Typically, they wouldn't come right out with their guns blazing. What they like to do, same thing they did with the Yeah, no, not that kind of war You don't know, want this. Yeah, did they also uh, push a book that was calling for, like, they see attacking policemen and stuff like that? And put it in the Black Panther Party's name? Or something like that. Yeah. Saying, you might as well kill yourself now, because if you don't, we will. Can you imagine getting that phone call before work every day? Yeah. And what that does to you after a while, it's, it's got to wear on your nerves. And responsible for the death of any law enforcement agents during their time. Maybe possibly. <laughs> Absolutely! <laughs> they were very clear that these bullets can fly in two directions. You understand? And that if we're going to have a funeral, we're going to have one on both sides. You understand? So, yeah, they killed cops when the cops started. Well, I ain't up there. I'm sorry. I missed your hand, sis. I didn't call it on you. Fred Hampton. Fred Hampton. That's he said, I believe I'm going to die doing the things I was going to do. I believe I'm going to die high off the people. I believe I'm going to die revolutionary in the international revolutionary proletarian struggle. Somebody read that paragraph for me, please. Things that um, a lot of people don't understand, and I really want BSU and anybody affiliated with BSU and just black students in general to understand, is that being pro-black does not make you anti anybody else. And BPP understood this very well, which is why you have up here, right, the Yellow Panthers, out here in solidarity, protesting to free Huey, one of the founders of the Black Panther Party, Huey P. Newman, right? Power to the people, black power to black people, yellow power to yellow people. That was their whole thing. That was always the Black Panthers thing. All power to all people, right? 